So yeah, did you watch anything this past week? <laughs> yeah, uh, me and the person I've been seeing, we we mm-hmm. watched. Uh, we 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 started off. It was like a, a kind of like a slow rainy day. We we're like, oh, let's do fall movies. Put on James and the Giant Peach, which I haven't seen forever. Oh, I want to see that so bad. I fell asleep because uh-huh. I was really tired sure. at a certain point, but I forgot. It sounds wonderful to fall asleep to, though. I'm not gonna lie. It well, <laughs> <laughs> it it. Yes and no, because it starts off. I was like, oh, oh I forgot that it was live action. Did you like wake up in a scary part? No, no, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay. But like, I forgot that like, it's, I don't know if Tim Burton directs, but he definitely produced. Yeah, he doesn't it. direct it. No. But it's, you can definitely feel the Tim Burton-ness sure, of sure. it. Yeah. Um, and it, I mean, it's, it's great. Uh, from what I, you know, so, was like yeah. a- awake for, but it, it is. It also reminded me of like how trippy it gets as soon as he starts to go into the peach. Oh yeah, and just yeah. like strange. Like, like it's funny. He the movie starts off. He's with his parents, and then all of a sudden they say Anna Rhino came and killed his parents, and then <laughs> without a beat, wow, he's like yeah. with his aunts, and they're like yelling at him, and you're like, oh, a I Rhino just, just came and killed his parents. I guess we're just gonna breeze past that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, the, and then, and a guy, an older gentleman, you know, comes up and approaches him and says, "Hey, t- take these, uh, these, these glowy insects, drugs." Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh, and uh, don't give them to anybody <laughs> because something magical will happen. Uh, yeah. And then he's like, "Okay, I'll take the drugs." And then walks up some steps, spills them all, and then one gets into a peach and. You know. Oh, okay. okay. But I was like, wow, yeah, I don't remember you... anything about this movie. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but besides that, we did watch we 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 saw this movie on Max that's called Cat Person or Cat People. Okay. Cat People. Uh-huh. It's from like nineteen thirty or some old movie. Mm-hmm. Um and it is it's so bad that it's good. Okay. But interesting, I, at least to me, because it, it's about this like woman from a different country who's in America, and mm-hmm. she starts off with her like d- drawing this panther. She's at a zoo, she's drawing the panther, but she's like uh, this hilarious, huge paper like book she has, mm-hmm. and she'll draw for like a second and just rip it off <laughs> and like throw it away, and she'll do it okay. again. Uh-huh. And like she tries to, so she meets this guy. He's like, can we go back for tea? Mm-hmm. And then they take. She takes him to his her place, and she's like, uh, "You're probably the first friend I've ever met. Just met him, by the way." Okay, go up for tea. She starts. It's like cuts to. It's pitch black in her apartment. She's just singing, and then she. It's pitch black. She's uh-huh. been humming for a while, mm-hmm. and goes, "Oh." I didn't realize how dark it was. Turns on this lamp, the whole room illuminates. Uh-huh. It's it's hilarious. Wow. Um, but she's like, yeah. my village. Uh, we're you know we're there's this thing about like it, you turn into a cat person if you kiss somebody you like. Oh, or if oh, you so like get jealous. Is weird, weird. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. And so like next day he comes back and he's like, you know I love you, right? And it's like. Bro, yeah, yeah, yo, you just met. It, it's yeah. wild. It's yeah. a wild movie. Okay. Uh yeah. she gets jealous. She can't, she she marries him. They don't kiss ever cuz she's scared she'll turn into a cat person. Uh okay, so, so why like, does he, why does he decide to marry her? Because What's, he loves her. Okay, okay. And, that's, and, that's, and, that's and, some and real he love he right has there. Her, yeah. He has her go to a shrink because he's he's like you have do you need help? Uh-huh. Sure. I would yeah, I would do the same. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. he's like, no, you won't turn into a cat person. Yeah. Um, do they ever kiss and then she turns into a cat person? She does turn into a cat person. <laughs> but why does she turn into a cat person? Uh she gets really jealous. Uh-huh. Uh and wants to kill the woman that he then falls in love with instead of her. Oh, so he leaves her. Sort of. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. So I mean, it gets interesting. It's <laughs> look. It's extremely interesting to yeah. watch because oh. there's just so it's many just choices. So crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like they they go to a pet shop and or no 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 the woman that he he eventually like really likes she's like she she has this cat at her at their workspace and she goes like John Paul Jones that's loud and you're like oh that's a weird saying yeah and then she like talk, looks at the cat and says. 
John Paul, wasn't that weird? And you're like, wait, <laughs> wait, her name. <laughs> <laughs> Who that could have easily been a saying, right? But like John the, Paul Jones. But yeah, then right. it's like, but the is the cat's Why name John Paul? Why would she call Paul? the cat John? Like, like his full name, John Paul Jones. Who names their cat a full name like that? <laughs> Don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah. I love this movie from uh, the sounds of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then besides that, I just, I just recently watch like this new episode of the X-Files called Eve, uh-huh. which is actually amazing. Okay. Uh, and it's, you think that like aliens are, are killing these two dads of these little girls mm-hmm. through like bloodless, you know, uh, okay. like, like with cows where they take all the blood out of the cows and everyone's like, how are they, how, how why they are all these right. cows dead without blood? Yeah. Um, it turns into a, cloning story and oh, it's very interesting not a vampire story maybe. it's not even a vampire story which there's two little things ah, on the neck so you're like direct. it's okay. a complete I it's like so it. good nice nice it's really good cool 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 yeah um yeah well for me uh probably what you all expect some more walking dead what even though oh yeah you're, even though yeah you are, you're I watching finished, the yeah i finished the show last week i yeah. had you guys then but i have started um, both The Walking Dead, Dead City, and Daryl Dixon. Um, so like concurrently, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, so basically, they both don't rely on each other. They're both in like separate times as well. But why wouldn't you just watch one and then go to the next one? Like finish so, one and go to the next one. So basically, I so I, I'll get to that. But I watched The uh, Walking Dead, Dead City first, um, because that's the first show that came out after The Walking Dead. And I like why I don't know if you remember, but I I was telling you that like you know Maggie tells Daryl like hey I got a I got a mission for you and you know, basically Daryl goes out and I don't know tries to find civilization outside of their hub whatever um, and I thought Maggie was gonna do the same thing but basically like five years have passed she's founded this new community that's not a part of no it is a part it is a part of the 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 like communities that they established in the original show, but it's not like her original hilltop community. Um, and apparently like her son has been kidnapped and the person who kidnapped her son is, is like one of Negan's old, um, gosh, I, I don't, I wouldn't call him an employee, obviously, but one of like, Negan's old, you know, dude, associate associate, sure. Who was, who was basically his torturer at one point. And, um, yeah. And so he's kidnapped Maggie's kid all the way back to New York city and Maggie's tracked him there and Maggie's tracked down Negan. And she's like, look, I know, you know, this guy, um, you're going to help me cause I need it. And you owe me obviously. And, um, and you know, b- basically like Negan's looking at, looking after this kid at this point. And so he's like, okay, I'll do it. If, if, uh, <clears throat> I'll do it if like you you taking the kid and and so she's sa- like she's safe and and then we'll go on this journey together. Um wait, what kid? He's he just found some kid in like the 5 years who like her her I guess her dad had been killed by like at, like people and not walkers and so like when she found that out she just hadn't she hasn't spoke since and so that's that's the trope of this show the 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 kid who doesn't speak. Um so yeah, luckily we don't like through the first two episodes, she's barely there. But I was just, I was under the impression that like her and Negan were already going to be like together and teamed up and they were going to go out and like do some mission where they wanted to find like people in New York city and then save people there or whatever. But no, it's, I don't know. It's, it's a very different take and I don't know. It's definitely not, strong it's definitely like the vibes of the last season of the walking dead it's i mean yeah it's like it's a better production budget where you can tell um it's 72 million over six episodes so they put some money into this but um plot is just not not there like like maggie has just like they had through those last two seasons they had like really developed their relationship and like by the end of the show she was like i don't want to hate you anymore like to negan right but by the beginning of this show she is just like fully back into it she fully hates negan again she like won't accept his help on a lot of the stuff that's happening 
And it's just like, it's just, I don't know. It's kind of rough to watch. Mm. The best parts of it are the Negan and Maggie moments, but I don't know. It's, it's just kind of a weak plot and a weak, I don't know, a lot of weak points in there, a lot of weak writing. So that's why, you know, I started Daryl Dixon, uh, wanted to just kind of go to something else. Mm -hmm. And luckily Daryl Dixon was so much better. It was so much better. Uh, only two episodes are out right now, and I've, oh. only, I've only watched the first oh, one. I, thought, I was under the impression that all of it was out. Yeah, I thought so too, but I guess it like just started coming out like a week or two ago. Oh, okay. And and so yeah, that first episode was so good. He's like, they're actually like it's set in France, and they're actually filming in France, so it like all this everything looks great, and 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 I think the plot's really good. Like basically, he just he just washes up on like on the shores of France. He just wants to get home, but he he gets stuck or he's maybe not stuck, but through him helping out people along the way, he's he's told about like he runs into this like convent of of nuns and they're like um they're housing this kid and and they believe he's like the next messiah who's going <laughs> to save the world, right? And so Great. and so basically Daryl Daryl finally gives in by the end and is like Look, if you can take me to where I need to go, then I will help you and this kid get to where you need to go. And so that's that's the plot of the show. And I'm just like, this is, I don't know. It's it's way more simple. It's way more Jesus believable in a sense. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's interesting and it's neat. And they throw a lot of little neat things in there. And I don't know. I, I like it. It's um hmm. I'm excited to keep watching that. But uh Dead City is a little, a little rougher. So We'll see how both shows go, but I'm uh, I'm excited for one of them at least. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. But that's everything I watched this week. 